Welcome back. Today on Real Reviews, we're here with another review for you guys. We have the Penplax Cascade 1000 canister filter. This is good for up to 100 gallon fish tanks. I'm only going to be using on a 30 gallon fish tank today though. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open this up and see what comes inside of the package. And now just in case some of you guys are wondering, does it only come in a brown box? Is there a retail pack inside of here? There isn't. This is just brown box. If you go to the store, you get retail pack, but for some reason, on Amazon, it just comes in a brown box. I've already gotten two of these. I actually have two of these here today, and um, they both come just like this. But it's, I guess it's fine. It comes with everything like it's supposed to. This is what it looks like inside. This is exactly the way that it comes when you open the package. So just don't be expecting retail packaging when you're ordering this product sold and fulfilled by Amazon because this is the way it's going to come more than likely. So anyhow, guys, let's go ahead and take it out. So we have a little instruction manual here. We have a little, uh, we hope you enjoy this product. You're going to go ahead and pull this piece out, get that out of the way. And now before you start pulling the filter out, you have some accessories here. All right. So first thing is going to be, ooh, here it is. This is one of the pieces that I like the most. So this is actually, this is the outlet pipes. Okay. So this is the outlet pipes right here. There's a couple of ways you can connect these outlet pipes. And this is one of the reasons that I purchased this particular filter is because on some of the filters, like the one I had before, I actually had a um, Magnum 350 filter. And that filter, it only had the outlet where it just kind of like blew water out from one spot. So I kind of had the tube all the way down to the bottom, which is blowing water across the bottom of my tank, which I really didn't like. This filter, actually, you can you can put this piece on right here. You can kind of blow water across the top of the tank, but that's not going to be the way that I'm going to be using it because it has something really, really cool. They have these pipes right here. If you connect these guys up, they have these little holes in them. Go ahead and take a look right here. They have all these little holes in these pipes. And so you take this thing with some suction cups, you stick it to the back of your tank like this. And it actually blows water all through these holes down the tank, however you want to align it, just like this or however. So it actually makes the water flow, I guess, more uniform across the entire back instead of just like one jet out, you know, blasting your fish in the head when he's trying to eat his food. I don't know. So we'll go ahead and put that off to the side. Another thing cool as well is that this actually has a little piece right here that when you put the tube on here, you actually screw this in. You screw this up like that and it actually holds the tube on. It clamps it versus my other one. It had like a couple of rubber bands. I don't know. Didn't really work for me. It never leaked, never leaked, but um, I kind of like this design a little bit better. All right, so these are actually the pieces that go on top of the filter, and we'll get to that in a second. Put that over here, and let's see what else we have. And then we also have this little package. Now, this is going to be the inlet. This is another thing that I really like about this particular filter is this part right here. And the way that this works is really, really cool because this is the piece that actually is going to be pulling your water in. This is going to be your inlet suction side. So this is really nice. It's kind of long. It really has a nice area to be, you know, cleaning out the bottom of your tank. And the way that I plan on doing it, I'm going to put it in like this. Got to make sure you put it all the way down because some people were saying it was sucking their fish up. But uh, you want to just put it all the way down. Basically, once you put this on, this extends. That extends. You can actually put it down, all the way down. You can put it up wherever you want. So what the way I'm going to do, I'm going to put it across the back of my tank. And I'm going to just put this all the way down to the floor, right into the gravel. And it shouldn't be able to suck up any of the rocks. And that will be perfect, you know, be able to pull in from the bottom and it's going to blow out across the top. It's going to be really nice to set up. So that's one of my other favorite features. So we'll keep that off for right now. Get back to that in a second. Now here is the actual canister filter. All right, so we got our tubes as well. So here are our nice tubes right here. And here is our canister filter. This thing is pretty cool. I really like this. Um, you can go ahead and I guess take that part off the bottom. It has like these little rubber feet on it here, which should hopefully help it from sliding around. This right here is telling you save this card for easy reference. This just tells you, I guess, how to put these pieces on. And these are these pieces right here that came. So this obviously has blue on it. That's going to go over here. And it does say, um, let's see, in and out. So blue is going to be in. This is the inlet. So this is the suction side. And this is the pressure side. This is where the pressure is going to be coming out. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys a brief demonstration of how to put these on and how to connect the hose. So basically to put this on, all you're going to do is Obviously, one of them is blue, one of them is black. So the black one's going to go on the black. You just put it in like this. You just spin this down. Really simple. Tighten it all the way down. And for the blue one, it's going to be the same thing. Just tighten it all the way down like this. The cool part about this is that even after you tighten it, you can still move these around. So these still move around. You want to have them like on the side. You want to have them on the top. You know, if you want to move your shutoff valves around, wherever you want to put them. So that's really cool that you can actually still do that. You want to tighten it all the way down, but you don't want to over tighten it. So basically just like that, nice and tight, but not over tighten. There we go. It's really simple. So then when you're taking this off to clean it, you just go ahead and loosen it up after you follow the procedures. And you're going to just pull it off from this end like this. 
you loosen it back up, obviously your valves are going to be shut off. You're going to follow the procedures that are detailed in the manual. Take it off. You can put this in a bucket with the other hose on it. Now, the way that you actually put the hose on it in the first place, you just take it like this. You get your hose. You make sure that this is all the way up to the top like that. This can actually come down, so you got to make sure it's all the way up like that. Just put the hose on it like this. Get the hose around it. Just like this. Push it all the way down. All the way down. So there's no space in between. And then you go ahead and you tighten this up like this. Do it nice and snug, but not too crazy so you don't break it. And that's it. And the hose is on. It's not going to leak. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you put these on, and that's how you put the hoses onto them. So this is supposed to be like for a quick release where you could turn the water off, turn the water flow off. So I guess that's on. That little arrow that says the water is going on. And if you turn it, I guess that way, now the water is off. So that's the way you want it when you're going to be changing your tank. You want to have these, I guess, to the side like that when you're going to be changing your tank and when you're setting it up. So these kind of just screw onto here. It's really nice. I like that feature a lot. Another thing I really like about that is that it also has these screws right here. So you screw it up like that when you put the tube on and that locks the tube in place. So that's also something that's really, really cool about this. And the other thing right here that we have, a little bit different than my other filter, is we have all of these nifty little suction cups. So the way that these work, these are for actually, and how many do we have here? Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight of them. So basically the way that these work, they just kind of clip onto these little tubes right here, like this. And this allows them to stick to the side of the wall in the back of the tank. So when you're setting this up, you want to have this going across the back of your tank, you just put these little clips on, you're going to stick it right to the back of the tank like that to keep this tube nice and stable. And then you can turn it obviously however you want like this. I'll probably have mine turned down like a little bit of an angle like that. And as long as it's under the water, it shouldn't make any noise and it should come out really, really good. So we're going to set it up like that. All right, so here we go. This is the actual canister filter. This is the Cascade 1000. This is what it looks like on the outside. It has a cool little handle. It has like these blue little baskets. Pretty cool, as you can see. Very nice. And now the way that this opens is really easy. It's really, really simple. You're just gonna go ahead and pop these sides like this. Pop it out. Pop the other one out like this. It's kind of like from the bottom and out, and these sides just come up like that. So these ones just come up like this. These ones kind of pop out and up. Just grab it and you pull this out. And there you go. Now be aware that there is this little piece right here, this little black gasket thing right here. There's only one way you can put it in, really. So this piece actually goes in straight up like that and it goes down around this right here. So the whole idea of that gasket is to block this right here to keep this sealed. But that gasket actually goes in right there and then this goes into that just like that. So anyhow, you take that gasket, move it off to the side. All right, so inside of here has a little cover. If you notice the way this cover goes on, the piece is sticking up is the way the cover goes on. Some people would think it would go on this way. And now we have the little baskets. Now this is something that I really don't like the way these baskets are designed. They used to not be like this. These baskets they used to actually come separate. Now they have like these little cheap plastic clips here, which I really don't like these plastic clips because if you notice, if you just unclip this, there's nothing there. This is a plastic. If you bend that a couple of times, that's broken. So what I did is I actually ordered some other baskets, some of the older version of the baskets, and those are going to be coming soon. That's what I'm going to be using. I'm not going to use these ones. See, because only the top basket actually has the little handle where before all three of the baskets used to have the handle. Now these guys don't. So that, that's the only thing that I really don't like about this filter. And that's the one thing that you know you guys might notice if you were you know, watch some YouTube videos, you saw everybody had the baskets with individual handles and now they have these clips. I don't like the clips at all. I think that's a really dumb design. And this is obviously going to fail extremely fast. I mean, this is nothing here. There's not a hinge on it. There's nothing, just a piece of plastic. You bend that a few times and it's broken. So anyhow, that's that. You can see down here in the bottom, there's nothing. It's really easy to clean. This plastic seems, uh, I mean, not, not incredibly durable. I mean, just be careful with it. And it should probably last you a good while. And this does actually have a gasket inside of here. It has like a rubber gasket that goes all the way around inside of here. So, you know, that gasket should, you know, keep this thing sealed. It looks pretty nice, pretty durable. And I don't know if you should silicone oil it or not. That's something you might want to look up. That's up to you. And so let's go ahead and look inside of these baskets and see what all we have. So these are the filter media baskets. You can put any type of different filter media in these things. So in the top one right here, they have some like type of floss material, some really, really, I don't know, cheap cotton material this is kind of like for polishing the water i guess it feels really nice it feels really cool you don't have to use their brand you could buy aftermarket brands they sell all kinds of aftermarket brands this is the um bag of the uh, carbon 
and you could buy bags of this and I actually I do have a bag you, instead of buying this bag like this I did something different instead of using these bags and having to buy a bunch of these I actually bought some bags right here which are re resealable they have like a little zipper on it you can put whatever you want inside these bags I bought a pack of them for like five bucks I got like eight of them for like five bucks and so I have my own carbon right here I like to have these carbon the activated carbon pellets so I'm just actually going to fill this bag with the pellets and I'm going to use this bag instead of the bag that comes with it that's what I'm going to be using for that. And if I want to put something else in there to like take out, you know, ammonia, ammonia or whatever, I'll probably use another bag of, you know, whatever I need, zeolite or whatever. And I'll put that in one of the uh, other bags and set it up that way. So anyhow, we'll go ahead and set that off to the side. So that's the second level. So that had the carbon in it. It has some more floss in it. And then the final level right here, this has more floss in it. And it has like a more of a, um, like a rigid sponge in here. So I guess this is to catch, I guess, larger particles. And the way that this filter is designed, the way that it's set up is that basically the water is going to come in, it's going to go all the way down to the bottom, and it's going to go from the bottom all the way back up to the top. So this is the first filter it's going to hit. This will grab out the bigger stuff. And then as it goes up, it's going to be getting the other smaller filters. So it's going to be getting like these, hitting like these floss filters. And every level has a floss filter on it. So it's like floss on every level. So this will actually be filtering out, you know, um, I guess whatever's in the tank, whatever smaller particles are in the tank. And since you do have three of them, it does have quite a good amount of filtration as it's going up all three of these filters. Now you can fill these with whatever you want. A lot of people are going to be a lot of, do a lot of different things. You know, they can put special biological balls in here. I don't know, whatever they might want to put in here. But I mean, pretty much anything is going to hold, you know, I guess biological stuff in it. But obviously these you got to throw out versus, you know, the balls or the, or the tubes, the different things that they have. You can, con you know, constantly reuse that or at least reuse it for a certain amount of months before you have to get some new material in there. So that's pretty much it. That's how that is. And the last but not least, the last thing I want to show you guys is going to be the impeller. So here is where the impeller is right here. If you're wondering how to get it out. You need to change it. You want to take all your screws out to get it out. You don't. You just grab this right here and you just turn it. The impeller just comes right out and there's your impeller. So really simple. That's what the impeller <laughs> looks like. And just be careful because obviously it just falls apart. I just made mine fall apart. So here's my piece right here. It's a little rubber piece that goes on top. There's your impeller, the shaft. I don't know if this shaft is this plastic. This might be, that might be some type of ceramic, maybe. It might be a ceramic shaft. Kind of seems like it might be. Seems really nice. It looks pretty straight. Some people have problems with these um, impellers on this model. I don't know, you know if, if I will or not. Hopefully not. My other unit, the Magnum 350, my impeller did go bad, but that was after a, a lot of years. So anyhow, Every now and again, you want to obviously take the impeller out. You want to clean out inside of here with maybe like a, you know, a little brush or something. Make sure it's nice and clean. But this impeller needs a nice place to spin. It doesn't want to really be getting hit by anything. This is a magnet. And this is a magnet inside here. And this spins around. And this is what circulates your water. So if this isn't spinning, your pump is going to burn out. So and it's not going to cause suction. So that's that. That's your impeller. Be careful when you're putting it back. Put it right back in the hole. Kind of suctions in with a magnetic suction. And you just twist it. And it's back in. So that's it. Okay, so once you have everything apart, you're gonna take everything, you're gonna rinse everything out, cause like this comes with like carbon buildup inside of it. So you're gonna go ahead and clean everything out. And the way that it goes back together is really, really easy. On this, this is gonna be the bottom one right here. You're gonna put in your um, your black filter right here. There's like some type of biological. It's also like a more, uh, has like bigger holes in it so it can grab like bigger particles. So you're gonna go ahead and put that one in first. Then you're gonna put your floss filter down. This is for like polishing the water and also taking out other particles. Now in the middle filter right here, you're going to have another floss filter like that. You're going to put your carbon in like this. Put your carbon bag inside of there like that. And then the last one is going to be a floss filter, at least the way that this comes set up. Now, if you want to get other type of media, obviously you can. You can set it up any way that you want. There's a lot of videos online that show different setups for this particular filter system. But just the way that it comes, you have, you have your, your, uh, your black filter right here. You have your floss filter right here. That's going to be the bottom. You have your floss and your carbon that goes right in here on top, just like this. And then this last one right here is your other, your top floss filter that goes right on top of that. Make sure that these filters are staying together. You're going to go ahead and clip them together with these clips on the baskets like this, just like that. And once everything is together, the next thing you're going to do, is you're going to go ahead and put it inside of here. It doesn't really matter which way it goes. This is either way. I mean, and you probably want to rinse that out too. So you go ahead and get your basket inside there like that. This piece goes with these little feet sticking up goes around here and you want to make sure see right here look down on top of here right there this is not really aligned in the center see how it is you want to get your finger in there and just move it over so you kind of align it with the center 
And then you get this piece right here. It could really only go on one way. So it's like an opening right here, and that's going to go right here on top. That's your gasket for this to make sure that everything is right. Make sure that's nicely aligned in the center, just like that. And then once you have everything lined up, then you go ahead and take your top, get this little piece right here, make sure that is lined up with this hole. You just put it right inside like this. Drop it right down. And once it lines up, it'll just drop right in place. There you go. And you go ahead and clip these side clips and clip these other side clips. Now these clips go over it, kind of like over it and down, clip in, over it and down, clip in. That's pretty much it. And then it's back together. That's all you have to do to clean this. Finally have the filter in place. This is the way I set it up. I did not cut these tubes yet. You're really supposed to cut them to length, but I left them long just in case I changed my mind about the setup. But right now, this is how they are. You have to make sure that you have the blue going to the intake. That's actually the suction right there. And you have to have the black going to the out. So the out is going to actually be these tubes, these tubes up here. So this is the way I have it set up. I actually have the intake right here on the right going all the way down. And then I have the output right here. It's going to be going through this wand right there. So the, uh, this wand right here is actually going to be the black. And then this intake right here is going to be the blue. So make sure you have it set up right. So right here, blue is in, black is out. And now in order to get this thing going, you're supposed to prime it by pressing this button. And that's supposed to bring water into it. And you do that before you turn it on, before you plug it in, actually, because there is no on and off switch. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these on right here. So this is water flowing in. As you can see, it has like a little arrow right there, water flowing in. That means that both of those are actually working right now. So that's the way you want to have them. And you're supposed to just pump it with this button. You're supposed to prime it. And it's supposed to bring water into it and get it going. So you got to keep on pumping it like this until the water starts flowing. It's kind of like when you clean your tank, the vacuum. It's not that easy. It might be easier if you fill it up a little bit. You fill up the canister, but mine was completely dry. It's definitely working though. It's definitely just hard. There we go. Got it. So you're supposed to wait a minute after you do this to make sure all the air bubbles are out. And then once that is done, then you're supposed to plug it in and it's supposed to be good to go. So far, so good. Here's the cord. Go ahead and unravel that and put it around the back here. All right, that sounds pretty good. It sounds like it's actually all done. All the air bubbles are out. It's got to kind of cable manage over here behind everything. So it looks like everything is working well. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. Here we go to moment of truth. Ooh, look at that. Well, it took a lot of water out of the tank. That's for sure. I need to get a bucket and fill that. But as you can see, it's definitely working well. It's pulling. It has a lot of force. It looks really, really good. Check that out, guys. Okay, so this is what it sounds like, even without the tank all the way full. It's not really that loud. And then down here, my pump is pretty much making more noise in this filter. I mean, it's not making any noise. It's not vibrating. It's not leaking anywhere. Everything looks really good. And all, anything that will leak would just be right here in this area, pretty much. And because it has these special clamps on here, it's just not going to leak. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be very, very good. So there you have it. I'm going to go fill up the tank all the way and let's see how it sounds. Okay, so here we are. I added a little bit more water to the tank. This is how it is. There is a little bit of sound coming from the filter, but not much. Let's listen. It's like a very, very mild humming sound. Or barely anything at all. My, my magnum was a little bit louder than that, actually. So here it is on the top. It's looking good. Can't even notice it in the tank. It doesn't seem to be affecting the fish at all. I mean, it won't affect the fish. It's not like blasting out like crazy. So I really, really like this wand idea up here. That is great. So let me go ahead and get the tank back together and we'll see it with the lights on. Okay, so here we go. We have the light and the top back on. It was making a tiny little humming sound. It was actually the last hole right there on that wand. So I kind of moved it around a little bit and I got it to stop making a sound. So it's not even the pump that's doing it. I mean, not even the filter. The filter's pretty quiet, listen. Doesn't make barely any sound at all. So that's really, really nice. I like it. I think it's gonna do a great job in this tank. All right, so just to let you guys know, I wanna go over how you're gonna actually take this apart when you wanna go ahead and clean it. This is what they say in the manual. 
especially so you're not getting water all over your floor. You want to go ahead first and close the flow control lever on the blue intake valve. That's going to be this one right here, the blue. You're going to close that. And after you close it, you're going to unscrew it from the bottom right here. You unscrew it, maybe put it in a bucket. And then after that is done, you're going to actually close the flow control lever on the black exhaust valve. So that's this one right here. And after you do that, you're going to go ahead and unplug the tank, unplug the filter. And then you're going to take this off right here. You're going to take this lock ring off and just put that in a bucket. And then your filter is going to be loose to take it and clean it and do whatever you want. And when you're done, you put it back in. You connect both of the cables again to the color, blue to blue, black to black. And then you're going to prime it, make sure that it's primed, make sure that it's flowing just like we did the first time. And once that's done, you plug it in and you're good to go. This is the Cascade 1000 filter from Penplax. I really like the filter. It seems to be pretty quiet. It's really easy to set up and it works really well. That wand feature is great. Also, the extendable arm for the input right there is also really good. I really like that. So the suction side has like an extensible arm, goes all the way down to the bottom. That's great. The wand is great. Easy to set up. The connections seem to be really secure. I don't think there's going to be any problems with leaking or anything like that. And also the noise level is great because it doesn't really make any noise at all. There was one little tiny sound that was coming out of the last little hole on the wand up there. And I messed around with it a little bit and I got it to stop. Anyhow, I recommend it. And if you're interested in purchasing this product, I will have a link in the description. If you would like to support the channel, please be sure to use the links in the description as they do generate a small amount of revenue for the channel. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button so you never miss another video on Real Reviews. See you guys next time.